Hey guys, Matt here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a video that I was supposed to do about a month ago, uh, only because uh, I got so busy uh, last month. I had a lot of clients and a lot of uh, a lot of work at my job, so I had to put this off. Anyway, Bubba requested a video, and you can request a video through my video request tab on my site at remove-malware.com one of my sites. Um, he wanted me to test Komodo 6 like my older reviews with malware bytes after. So what we basically what he basically meant was install uh, Komodo 6 on an infected computer, um, see how it does, um, and then clean it up with malware bytes uh, after the fact. So you know run malware bytes is like a second opinion kind of thing. So anyway I have started tonight. This video will be broken up into several parts just because uh, I'm waiting for these Trojans to actually download something worthwhile and um, I don't know I'm waiting for some more action to happen really so on my infected computer this is it right now you can see that I have many copies of Internet Explorer running at once so that is part of the malware that's running I have no copies open a um, bunch of this stuff stuff uh, open in the background with all these copies of Internet Explorer. So if I don't know if I have any other weird EXEs that you can see here. Nothing that really stands out, but definitely infected. So um what I'm gonna go ahead and do now on this infected PC is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and um grab Komodo six, the latest version. So um, hang on one sec. So here's the the funky part about downloading Komodo. So when you go do a Google search for Komodo Internet Security 6, you'll eventually get to Komodo's site, and they have Komodo Internet Security Complete 2013. Um, however, if you that's like the default Google link. If you go up one, you have the Komodo Internet Security free version right there. Um, and you can see that it doesn't say Komodo 6 or anything like that. A lot of people refer to it as Komodo 6. Um, but if you look at the release notes, I think they're around here somewhere. Yep, right there. Um, you can see it says version 6. So, um, And they just redirect you to the paid one. Alright, so that's the free one. And the free one says secures all connections while you're online prevents all viruses that's a hefty statement and online threats provides fast cloud-based scanning improves your PC performance and efficiency uh, upgrade available additional features and services um, I think they need to be a little more specific there like dot 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 you know like a little list right there doesn't convince me um, anyway we'll go ahead and do a free download and I should probably well you know what I'll download this on my host machine and then I'll transfer it over so it's sort of a big installer I think it's almost like a hundred meg yeah 124 megabytes so yeah it's up there and I really I don't know if this um, if these Trojans are gonna actually download anything worthwhile they usually almost always download so it's some kind of fake antivirus, but I guess they're just, I don't know, using me to send out spam or, you know, I don't know, paying attention to what I'm doing. Who knows? I don't know. But we'll kill them off in a few minutes. So anyway, I'll let that download. A um, couple of, uh, well, one really quick announcement. Um, some videos I'm doing uh, this week and maybe this weekend uh, they're for a few friends of mine there'll be uh, some games uh, some games there'll be some videos <laughs> geared towards a few games I'm playing so um, I'll be talking for like an hour per game um, you can you can uh, watch that if you want <laughs> it's, it's probably not your thing if you're looking at this channel but um, my channel's got a lot of stuff coming up on it now so um, 
anyway, uh, my next next uh, video that's techie, I guess I could say, would be um, a video for techynotes.net, and that'll be a quick little video on how to find out what uh, process is killing your hard drive or or really, you know, um, using up all of the uh, speed on your drive. So that'll be coming up uh, next. So anyway, I'll pause this. Be right back. Okay, so I downloaded uh, CIS, Komodo Internet Security. And you can see it says one because I've obviously done this uh, probably a few weeks ago when I was trying to make this video. I'll go ahead and right click it and run as administrator. This is on my infected PC here. And I'm just going to install using the default options. Also, um, after this PC is cleaned up with Komodo and Malwarebytes, I'll go ahead and um, test um, CIS against some um, malicious links, uh, some spam, something like that. So we'll go ahead and just choose defaults. I'm not going to enter my email right now. So do I want to add uh, Komodo secure DNS servers? Sure, you should do that if you were um, if you're actually going to use it. Uh, enable cloud-based behavior analysis. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I want to help Komodo by setting my home page. No, and we'll go ahead and say install. So not exactly default settings, but close enough. Um, it installs this Komodo Dragon web browser. I honestly, I have no clue what that is. I don't know. I'm not going to change a web browser. Uh, I would just stick with the one I like, which is Chrome. You know, if this was a real PC of mine. And so, um, you know, keep in mind the install time is um, based on you know this PC that is infected. So, it's going by pretty quick so far yeah I infected this PC I want to say like a month ago and then I let it update the uh, I let the malware update for like the last four hours so should have some some recent stuff on there uh, some things I don't like about Komodo is there they you know I really do thank them for their free products, but boy, do they add on a lot of like junk. <laughs> I wish they had just add some ads inside their program or something. So we have, you know, they add some shortcuts to our desktop, some kind of service that I'm sure I have to pay for. Um, and then Komodo Dragon, which is like their web browser that I just don't care about. I'm not saying it's bad or anything, I just don't know about it and I don't have time to deal with it. You know, if I if I like how their product protects my computer, then maybe I will buy more stuff from them or I will buy something from them. I mean they do make a fantastic product. Um and I realize, you know, you know, I'm gonna employ they've gotta employ people and all that shit. But um might want to, you know, I don't know. I don't know how you I don't know how you're supposed to make money with these free products. You know, I guess maybe the way they're doing it is working out for them, but it sure kind of drives me nuts when I have all these icons on my desktop. I don't know what the solution is for that. So it's just kind of hanging here at like 91 percentage. Um, I don't want to bore everyone with, with my babbling, so I guess I'll go ahead and pause it.